What's going on, YouTube? Yeah, OG taking this morning walk, hollering at Charles again. Yeah, everything Charles and White. But before I talk about this old Negro, y'all hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Support me. Y'all know I need all the help I can get. I'm going to give y'all a quick second. Blink over now. All right, that's enough. Now, y'all check this out. Now, I don't know what video Charles and White felt like got released to the public. But I watched this follow-up video, and honestly, any violence among black men or any men or women, I'm not, I'm not for it. Listen, communication is the key. You either like me or you don't, love me or you don't. If we at that point where it's a don't, we don't have nothing to do with one another. We don't have to resort to the violence like the way they chose to act at that show. Now, I'm going to let Charles and White know how this going to turn out. Why he think it's funny and why he boasting about getting the bag. Charles and White, this probably going to be your last one. For one thing, you want to be a celebrity and they're going to start treating you like a celebrity. Meaning, you're opening yourself up to all kind of civil liabilities as well as whatever place that's allowing you to have your venue. So, you know, big business coming your way, Charles and White. See, that's one thing about when it comes to getting money, that's why it was that's why I know you're not an OG. Cause when it comes to the streets, they'll tell you violence stops your money, Charleston White. And anything you do except for boxing. You can have too much violence and anything you do as a human being nowadays. Now how this gonna turn out? If you're looking for a cascade and a waterfall of bookings and shows behind this whole melee, or you getting your ass whooped, but it's not going to turn out like that. Because them two guys, I'd have had that paperwork on you in that venue. See, Charles White, what you fail to realize and what a lot of people are missing on that video, if that guy paid a ticket, that guy had a right to stand there in it. Heckle, a so-called damn comedian. It comes with the territory of being a comedian. But Charleston White being from the street and being smarter than every other black man ever been, in, been created. All the great comedians that came before him didn't seem to think that these guys didn't have a right to disagree and laugh and joke at him. So you know what he does? Y'all go back. Because, see, he think he's smart. But he, what he did was he assaulted a, a patron. That's what he did, y'all. While he's sitting back laughing, he thought he might need to bring that bag back to the venue. Because if I were those two or three guys that were standing down in front of that stage and the so-called star picked up a flower pot and assaulted me with it, over words now, this comedy show. Then turns around, pulls back as far as he can, and hits the man in the head with the microphone, or tries anyway. Now, Charleston White, now I know that you surrounded around a lot of smart people, but y'all can't be that damn dumb. It's it coming for you, Charles. I told y'all the energy y'all put out. It's coming back on your doorstep tenfold. You better change while you got the opportunity. Because you're going back to the block. You're just going to the block broke if you don't check yourself. You're out there provoking. You're out there blatantly disrespecting these people. And if they say anything back, you want to go vile. You want to be blatant. And then you want to assault them. You can't make this up, Charleston White. They can't press charges. I'm just saying.